Welcome to How to Make a Stop Motion Episode 3. This episode, I will show you how to make a stop motion, like take the pictures and everything. So I'll put my camera on a tripod. I hope you enjoyed the previous episode. If you haven't watched it, click the link um, in the left, top left corner. So anyway, get tripod and your camera. If you don't have a tripod, then put it on some books or something. That's what I used to do. And make sure you put your image quality on the highest quality it can be. I'll show you how to do that on my camera right now. So, oh yeah. So, I will put it on 4320 times 2432. Preview it for display on HDTV. Okay, make sure it's on picture, picture mode. Put your camera where you want it to be. Um, in the right position. Make sure you've got your script, look at your script, what it says. Um, this is a very bad tutorial. <clears throat> Put your camera at the right position, and then... Move the character. Take the picture. Oh, I... I can't take the picture, but move the character, take the picture, move the character, take the picture. Make sure your hand is out the way, so when you move the character, move your hand away, then press the button on the camera. Then move the character a little bit more, move your hand away, then take the picture. And if you're wanting to do a really fast stop motion and you're not new to stop motion, you're, you know a lot about stop motions, then when you have the character you want to make it <clears throat> a lot of frames per second and frames per second is how many pictures are in a second if there's a hundred frames per second then there's a hundred pictures in a second that's loads if there's five frames per second then there's only five pictures per second so it'll go like this the character that's where you kind of look like oh. If there's if there's lots of frames in a second, then you'll go then you'll go smoother like this. <clears throat> it'll go smoother like this in a second. It'll go smoother like that. You can edit the frames per second when you edit it, but but um um the frames per second I usually do. I don't really take um, account of that. I don't really notice do that but I'll, I move it about that much take a picture 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 if you're new to stop motions then I would suggest not moving it a tiny bit move it like that take a picture that take a picture that take a picture and that take a picture then when you're more skilled move it a little bit tiny bit to make it more realistic and if you don't have much time to make stop motions then well if you do if you do if you move it a tiny bit then it just takes longer so that's why stop motions are kind of annoying but if you just um, figure out what, what you're good at look at your script maybe your script says the guy jumps off here so make him jump off here and he falls down do whatever your script says, or your storyboards. And you, and and a good thing is, you take a picture now, then you move the camera a little bit, and then you take a picture, and you move the camera, so as it looks like the camera's moving. That's a good trick. Um, this is nearing to the end of the episode. <clears throat> um, I'll just show you another thing. If you're doing a, a bionicle or a transform stop motion, then 
the same applies, you move them a little bit, take a picture, move it a little bit, take a picture, a little bit, take a picture. Lego stop motions are quite easy because there's a board to help you, and Transformers ones they might fall over and that's kind of annoying, but use blue tack. I've got blue tack at the bottom of this tripod so it sticks up, but you could put that on the bottom of the feet of there. Um, but also a thing about Lego stop motions, you should try to have a Lego board um, because Lego characters do not stand up on the floor, fall over on a Lego board, they stand up perfectly. I'll give you some links to Lego things and Transformers toys if you want um, and then just check them out but I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will, I will make a stop motion now and in the next episode I will show you how to edit it. So I hope you enjoy this episode.